Good evening, this is Night Prayer for Sunday, April the 3rd, 2011. It's year one, week four of Lent, and week six of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 46, Galatians chapter 4, verse 21, through chapter 5, verse 1, and Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 19. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy, grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Psalm 46. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult and kingdoms are shaken. God's voice roars forth, the earth shrinks away. Come, consider all God's works, the redoubtable deeds God has done, putting an end to wars across the earth, breaking the bow, and with snapping the spear, burning the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 21. Tell me, you who desire to be subject to the law, will you not listen to the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave and the other by a free. One, the child of a slave, was born according to the flesh. The other, the child of the free woman, was born through the promise. Now this is an allegory. These women are two covenants. One woman, in fact, is Hagar from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. Now Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem, for she is in slavery with her children. But the other woman corresponds to the Jerusalem above. She is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you childless one, you who bear no children. Burst into song and shout, you who endure no birth pangs. For the children of the desolate are more numerous than the children of the one who is married. Now you, my friends, are children of the promise, like Isaac. But just at that time the child who was born according to the flesh persecuted the child who was born according to the Spirit. So it is now also. But what does the Scripture say? Drive out the slave and her child, for the child of the slave will not share the inheritance with the child of the free. So then, friends, we are children, not of the slave, but of the free. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Arise and shine, for your light has come. A canticle from the prophet Isaiah. Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Most High has risen upon you. Your gates shall always be open. Day and night they shall not be shut. Violence shall no more be heard in your land. Devastation or destruction within your borders. You shall call your gates, your walls salvation, and your gates praise. The sun shall no longer be your light by day. Nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you by night. But Yahweh will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us now and forever amen 